is one piece. Now I need 30 of these to solve the problem. Here they come. Here I have my 30 pieces. Three rows of 10. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Great. Now I want to split these into five equal groups if I can because I want to find one fifth of 30. So I'll have one group, two groups, three groups, four groups, and five groups. And I've got to keep sharing these out to find out how many will be in each group. I've used all 30 blocks and split them into five equal groups. So let's look at how many is in each group. One, two, three, four, five, six. So one fifth of 30 is six. Here are our five groups and each group has six blocks in it. So two fifths, I take two of these groups together. And this now is two fifths of 30 because there are 30 blocks in total. So two fifths of 30 is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Find one fifth of 30. Well, we can't always carry blocks around with us. So here's another way to do it. One fifth of 30. We want to divide 30 by five. That will tell us what one fifth is. 30 divided by five equals six because six multiplied by five is 30. If I wanted to find two fifths of 30, First of all, I need to find one fifth. Well, I've got this already. One fifth of 30 equals six. I got that here. Two fifths of 30 equals six multiplied by two, because I've got two lots of one fifth. So two fifths of 30 equals 12. Now I've got a rule for this to help me remember. Now I write this. Now I've got a rule for this to help me remember. Divide by the bottom then times by the top. Divide by the bottom or we were going to be really smart about it we call it the denom denominator divide by the denominator multiply by the numerator we could multiply by the numerator first and then divide by the denominator but we end up with bigger numbers to divide so doing it this way around makes it more efficient let's have another one just to try out this method find let's say two fifths of 40 Divide by the denominator. So we take our total, 40, divide by the denominator, which is 5. 40 divided by 5 equals 8. And then we multiply by the numerator. We've just worked out what one fifth of 40 is. So if we want two fifths, we need to multiply it by 2. That's why this works. So I can write two fifths of 40 equals one fifth, which is eight multiplied by two. And eight multiplied by two is 16. Here's another example, which has greater value. Four fifths of 45 or five sixths of 42. 
Well, let's work with this one first. First of all, we find one fifth of 45. One fifth of 45 equals, remember, we divide by the denominator. So here I'm going to do 45 divided by 5, which is 9. This represents one fifth of 45, but I want four fifths. Well, I could take nine away from 45, that would work. Or if I stick with the method that I've been using, I take one fifth and I multiply it by the numerator, which is four. So four fifths of 45 equals nine multiplied by four, which is 36. That's one of my answers. I'm going to underline that to make it clear where my answer is. Let's go to the other one over here. Five sixths of 42. First of all, I find one sixth. One sixth of 42 equals, well, I'm going to take 42 and divide by the denominator. 42 divided by six is seven, it equals seven. So one sixth of 42 is seven, but I need five sixths. Well, I could do 42 minus seven to get my five sixths, because 42 represents six sixths, but to stick with my method, I'm going to take the value of one sixth and multiply it by the numerator, in this case, five. And seven multiplied by five is 35. So to answer the question, which has the greater value? Is it four fifths of 45, which is 36? Or is it five sixths of 42, which is 35? Well, we can see clearly the answer is this one, 36. So four fifths of 45 has the greater value.